Hey guys, David, Nailbuster, just here to show you how to do a simple Tarsicio style wheel. Uh, this is using the free paint.net and so um, let's get right to it. So first thing you want to do is uh, you're going to need three files. One is going to be like the Tarsicio default template. You grab that and then I'm doing cue ball wizard here. So I grabbed an image I found online um, for the, from the back glass, I think. And then I found another one where it was a transparent uh, cue ball wizard logo there. All right, so we're going to start with the wheel. Uh, you'll notice the squares, they mean things are transparent. You'll get to realize, you click up here if you don't see layers, but you're going to need to make sure you see the layers here. And we're going to start off by adding three layers. And the background one, we're going to put in the middle, you'll see in a second. And that's all you got to do for starting with that. So now we're going to open up the back glass, or just any image. And now you want to select something. You may have to resize this if this image is crazy size or whatnot. You want to make it manageable. But you want to select the uh, ellipse select. All right. Now when you select, you don't worry what you're selecting right away. But you, what you want to do is you want to make a circle about 390 to 400. And you notice on the bottom left here, it tells you the size you're doing. And if you hold the shift, I believe, is it shift? It keeps it, yeah, shift keeps it a square. So look, we have 394, that's good. So anyway, 390, 395 is good. Then you wanna move over here, this little white move selection. And you wanna move the selection to what you wanna put in the wheel. So here, let's put uh, that dude and her in there. Looks good. And we go edit, copy. And up here, you wanna select the wheel. And now we want to we'll be working with the bottom layer. So layer two here, and you want to make sure that's blue and you go edit, paste, and there it is. Now you notice you're going to have to move this around, right? You want to move it around so that it's really nice. It's not coming out or peeking out. You want to make sure it's, it's right in there. And then I'm comfortable with that. Make sure there's a little blank there. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then we want to go for the top layer we want to now use, let's go and go in cue ball wizard here. And we see the size is pretty decent. You may have to resize it if it's too big, but for now we're going to go edit, select all, I guess. Sure. And go edit, copy, go back to our working and we want to make sure we're on layer three. We want to go edit, paste. And there you can put it where you like. Now you, you notice on the bottom right, you can move it around, but you want to make sure Terry will get mad if it's aspect ratio is wrong. So you got to, I believe if you hold the shift. Yeah, if you hold the shift key, it'll keep the same aspect ratio. So depending on what you want to do, now this isn't great because I covered her face. Maybe I would do it differently, but you get the idea of how you want to uh, do that. And that's it. You go file, save as and you want to call it what you would like to call it, cue ball, table name, of course, pop the proper name. And you want to select PNG and you save it and you want to save it as 32 bit. Okay. And that's it. You hit okay. And I'll save it. Now oh, I don't like her face there. I'm going to change it. So I'm going to go to layer two and I'm just going to hit delete. Oh, did I hit a delete? I want to delete it all. So let me just hit layer two. I'm going to have to select it all on layer two and hit delete. And I'll go back here and I'm going to say, you know what, move selection, I'm going to put her in the top left. And I'm going to go edit, copy, go back here, make sure I'm on layer two and go edit, paste, and there, I like it like that, I like it like that, yay. All right, so now we go file, save as the PNG and we're all good. That's just, again, there's a lots of stuff you can do as far as drop shadows and, and, and highlighting, but this just gets you uh, there what you need to do. Alrighty, bye.